Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and in preparation of the newest Star Wars film releasing later this week, we're going to talk about Star Wars Arcade for the 32X. Not to be confused with Star Wars Trilogy Arcade, which is a completely separate game. I always wish they came out for that on Dreamcast, but that's a side point. Another side note, the 32X is an add-on slash system for the Genesis, if you don't know, that was supposed to give the 32-bit gaming experience and bridge the gap between the Genesis and the Saturn. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well, and developers didn't really get time to really take advantage of the hardware. However, it is a misunderstood system, and there are a few games that are really some great gems on the 32X, and I consider this to be one of them. This was a launch title with the 32X in 1994, and what a great game to show off the power of the 32X. It may look dated now, but these graphics were amazing and really impressed us all. You can play this game either single player or two players with a friend. The first player will be the pilot and control the main gun, and the second player will control a laser turret that can shoot anywhere on the screen. If you play a two player game, you control a Y wing instead of an X wing, but you get an extra shield, so I recommend choosing two player no matter what. The there are two game modes to choose from right away, 32X Enhanced Version or the Arcade Version. The difference is, the 32X Enhanced Version has more levels and increased difficulty, and a really insanely hard Death Star Trench level. Arcade has four stages, or three, depending on how you look at it. Now this game is known to be difficult. One of my proudest gaming achievement moments is that my friend and I actually beat this game back in the day. Now. Capturing the two-player footage for this episode, I actually went and played with that same friend I did all those years ago. And as we were playing it, we kept dying on the Death Star Trench, and we just couldn't do it. We couldn't finish it. And we were like, how did we do this so long ago? And I was like, man, we must have been better players. But as I spent more time giving this game a thorough playthrough for this episode, I found out that what we had done was we beat the arcade version, which was that three or four levels that has a much easier Death Star Trench, and that one is the second Death Star Trench, which that just has a lot of piloting as opposed to these crazy proton torpedoes that are launching at you. In the 32X version, it is insane. You have got to have a second gunner shooting down all those proton torpedoes, or it is impossible. Honestly, it's my personal thought that it is near impossible to beat the 32X version without Game Genie or without codes. Um, but I know there is a playthrough on YouTube of a guy doing it. Uh, he has a YouTube name by Rage uh, called Rage Quitter 87, I believe. I hope I'm not getting that wrong. But I'm gonna link his playthrough in the description if you want to see it. Uh, but he definitely has two-player support with him to help him shoot down those torpedoes because it's just not possible with one person and it's absolutely insane. But once I saw that I was like, oh, that's how we did it. We played the four player thing and it was much easier that way. But I just can't do that 32X version. It's, it's insanity. Honestly, after giving this game a thorough playthrough, the 32X version really just has a lot of filler levels in there where you fight TIE fighters in an asteroid field. It's fine, but you also do attack runs on both the first and second Death Star, which each section before the respective trenches is exactly the same area as before, so it begins to feel really repetitive. The sound effects and music cues are straight from the Star Wars film, so it really gives an authentic Star Wars experience. You can choose to either fly in first person cockpit mode or third person, but the preferred method to play is definitely first person because in third person you do not have the radar and it's one of those games where your representation of your ship isn't actually the best marker for where you are in 3D space. Nostalgia glosses over all of the problems of this game for me, but it's definitely not without its flaws. The faulty radar system and limited movement in 3D space will really take you out of the space simulation experience. However, this was always an awesome game to throw on with some friends and shoot some TIE fighters and be amazed at the graphics the 32X was producing. Guys, this week on the 17th slash 18th, the newest Star Wars film is being released. Make sure you go see it. Are you excited to see it? I'm excited to see it. I hope we're not let down. I don't think we will be. I think it'll be pretty enjoyable and uh, I don't see how it could be worse than the prequels, but uh, I'm pretty excited to see it. And if you have a 32X actually, and don't have this game, I think this is an absolute must own for any 32X owner out there. So as always, thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.